G'day, Tim and Dave from Springvale. This is our estate Pinot Noir block, uh, planted in 1986, 26 year old vines, and it's really the fruit that makes this, vi this wine, isn't it, Dave? It is. Uh, this is the best fruit in the winery every year. Um, it's concentrated, it's expressive, it's easy to work with, it's balanced, it's, uh, you know, this is really what we're all about here, making Pinot Noir like this. Um, the vine age, these vines are really hitting their straps. It's amazing fruit and uh, yeah, it's just expressed in the wine. Yeah, and so the winemaking is very, very simple. Um, we really just want to get the vineyard characteristics into the bottle. Um, so, you know, the result is a wine that has very rich fruit, a very uh, big volume in the mid palate. Yeah, fleshy mouthfeel. Yep. Um, sort of a plum kind of flavour spectrum, I guess. Um, some hints of ripe raspberry and uh, that sort of thing in there too. There's, this wine goes, does go into some new oak for nine months, so there is an oaky background as well. Um, and these wines, uh, they're silky, they're generous, they're lovely. I mean, I, yeah. I love the stuff. I drink heaps of it. And best consumed with, I say duck, I love it. Good with duck, um, but you know, wines gamey like, food. yeah, gamey stuff, yeah, venison. Yep. Um, and the reason that you say those sort of things rather than just lamb and whatever is that Pinot Noir is, is quite uh, delicate and perfumed itself, and it, it is itself quite heady. And when you eat those gamey meats, you know, your head gets filled up with these aromas that you don't get with other sorts of meat, and mm. that's why they match so well with Pinot Noir. Yep. Um, uh, so these wines actually do cellar quite well too. I mean, um, a good Pinot Noir like this can, can age for five or 10, well, five years is a given, but 10 or 15 or even 20 years. We've just finished drinking our 91s, which were amazing and proves if they're stored correctly, uh, yeah, they, they age very well. And yeah. if they're balanced really well, you really get the most out of them, which this one is. That's right, and, and Pinot Noir uh, wines that are like this, they, they, they undergo this really dramatic transformation between young Pinot and old Pinot and it's those older wines that are just so complex and really create the, the Pinot Noir nutters that are out there in the market. It's those ones with a bit of age on them that are so interesting and thought-provoking wines. Um, if you'd like more technical information about how we make this wine, uh, it's available on the website. Um, do you have anything to add, Tim? No, please enjoy. Thanks.